Meg sat with her back against the warm, prickly strength of pine. A runnel of sap stuck to the back of her blouse like caramel. The October sun warmed her where the tree's branches allowed it through. She had her face in a book, nose pressed almost to the paper, thick glasses bare inches above the words. She read rapidly, though, moving the book instead of her head, scanning word by word. The fall of her hair tenting over book and face blended with rusty, resinous fall needle bed, years of trees shedding. The bulky, oiled canvas coat that protected her from the damp ground was the non-color of sea and sun-faded leather, a relic of her father's passing. It was as if she was fading out and growing transparent. Ivanhoe absorbed her into its tail willingly enough. Nearby, a path ran behind the soccer field and along the little sandborn. Distant cheers and whistles and echoing amplified commentary were subsumed in the blithe whispers of the brook, and the runner's footfalls fell pillow-soft against the pine needles and warm earth. Meg did not hear Ben Howard approach, nor pass, but when he began to scream, she dropped her book and stood so fast a strip of silk tore from her blouse and clung to the sap of the eastern white pine. This has been an excerpt from Eastern White Pine, current project of Skixmatics. That's me, I'm Skixmatics. Welcome to visitors and new patrons. Eastern White Pine is just one of the manuscripts I'm working on. I like to call it Twin Peaks meets It. I write horror, supernatural mystery, and science fiction with a dark bent. With the help of your patronage, I will be able to dedicate my time fully to bringing these stories to completion and, ultimately, publication be among the first to find out how Eastern White Pine ends, join our team of patrons today.